We're the last of the cowboys to giddy up cowboys. Eighteen wheels on the concrete. It's a slow and dying breeze. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Now, I know a lot of you were probably wanting farming today. I apologize. It's going to be ATS because I was really having fun the other day when we were when we were driving. And I talked about making a brand new save game where we try to actually level up and, and grow the company legit and try to earn money and play it legit. So that's what we're doing. By the way, we are rocking the new International Lone Star. I believe it's what it's called. It's the International That's In game available to everyone that has American Truck Sim, which is awesome to see this come into the game. This game has existed since 2016, and we have waited a long, long time for more states, more trucks, and everything to be getting in. And slowly but surely, that seems to be the case. So I'm super excited to have this truck. We are going to hit the road here today. So let's hop inside. Let's uh, fire it up. Now this let's one this. is... Oh, that was my GPS, by the way. This one is automatic. As you can see, all the trucks, the standard trucks are automatic. So I can drive them as manuals. I still don't have my age shifter set up. I don't have the uh, head tracker set up either. But we will get those um, running at some point. Because I do like driving manual with the head tracker. It's a lot, a lot of fun. But I've never tried out this uh, this International. So this is really exciting. New truck to the game. Interior looks really, really good, actually. No complaints here. Looking at the gauge cluster there. That looks really interesting. Can I cycle through? Yeah. So we got fuel economy. Miles per hour. Uh... uh was that fuel distance? Can't read that one if I'm going to be honest with you. Probably trip information or something. And what uh, is that? Miles per hour? Oh, and then we have some gauges here. Transmission oil level. Okay. Oh, this is this thing is super detailed. This is really cool. Now, if I had to use my head tracker, I could like lean forward so I could see this stuff better. But we're going to try with that one there for now. Uh, let's hop out and just check our load. Today we are hauling uh, 14 tons of used packaging from Portland to Portland. This is the, like, tutorial run. They gave me this truck for the tutorial, and then we will continue doing our own. We don't own our own truck yet. By the way, let's hit the road, shall we? Parking brakes off. Let's put her in drive. Let's start rolling. This thing is awesome. I should have set up my, uh, my head tracker and some of that other stuff. I will get around to that. It's just uh, the way I've got my deal set up, it's it's an extra step that uh, it takes a lot longer to set up than you would think it does. Well, that's right. This thing is standby. I got to change something in my settings really quick. Okay, I got that fixed. And uh, in case you guys were wondering, we're running with no mods at all right now. We are running purely on the game. There are no modifications running on this save game at the moment. So everything you see is stock to the game in the game. We are in Portland, Oregon right now. I do have Utah purchased and I thought about making my, my place of business in Utah, but I just love this area too much. It's too pretty. And, uh, so I did not do that, but we will be traveling to Utah. Don't worry about that. We're going to get there um, Turn left. hopefully sooner than later. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I want to get a... Ready to turn right. Okay, GPS. I want to get turn a different right. GPS. Man. It just... Uh, I don't know. I want to get one that actually sounds like the Google uh, Maps GPS. But if I can find, like, maybe the Australian version, because that's what I run in real life. <laughs> a little strange, probably, I know. I really like this truck, though. This truck is awesome. Uh, I mean, it is a new truck, but... Uh, so that's probably why I like it so much. I've used the other one so, so much in this game. Uh, I, like, I loved the Volvo when Keep it came right. out because it was new and, and different. Right. But we might, uh, we very well might just have to use this for turn our company. Right. I don't know. I mean, it's going to be a long road till we can get to that point for sure. But uh, we're, we got to get some money saved up so we can buy our own truck and then we can have some credit so we can get some loans and all that good stuff. Let's get a uh, screenshot here real quick, though. Okay, we got a couple screenshots there to use for the thumbnail. Just had to do that real quick while we were getting onto the interstate. Let's go ahead and... I think we're... Well, you know what? It didn't tell me to, so I'm going to stay right here in this lane. 
We're going to try and run this as legit as possible. We don't want to get any accidents, any tickets. We want to be on time. We are running fatigue simulation. Everything is on the most realistic setting we can get it on. Although I am running an automatic. Um, but you know what? Most of the trucks like this these days are automatic. So I guess that's realistic as well. They're not actually... Uh, it's pretty uncommon for them to be manual anymore. At least for these, these company trucks and stuff like that. And we are going a little easy around that turn because I have braking intensity, trailer and truck stability turned all the way down. Just because I feel like that makes things a little more interesting and a little more uh, realistic. You got to go slow around those things like that. Here we go. And let's start engine breaking down. And then turn left. You turn up the intes intensity of that engine brake too. And this turn thing doesn't want to slow down, man. I've been in the brakes for a hot minute. There we go. Toggle that engine brake back off. And uh, our drop-off is right up here. Now, we're, this isn't the only one we're doing today. We are doing more, but we don't have a truck yet, so we're just kind of driving for different companies around. We might see if, unless it kicks me out of this tutorial deal, I might see if I can do another run for this company specifically. I don't have external contracts set up on this profile yet either. It didn't let me because I'm in the tutorial stage. Mother trucker, dude. I almost got... A red light ticket right there. I mean, I technically could have. Ah, oh, man. Voyage run, and we almost voided my... What I was saying about not keep getting a right, ticket. And then turn right. I need to just remember to keep her nice and slow. Turn nice right. and easy, you know what I mean? No point in getting in too much of a hurry. There we go. That was better. This is our drop-off right here, and then we're going to obviously take another load. This isn't going to be the end of this one. Oh, by the way, 5M, the 5M server, is officially open now, as of today. So, expect to see some videos on that coming out uh, here in the next, starting in the next week. I think you guys are really going to be excited about that. I know I've brought Turn it up so right. much lately, but I'm just, I'm crazy excited for it. And I hope you guys are too. Finally, I held, uh, yeah, here. I know. I know I'm here, lady. Jeez, finally, we are here. <laughs> um, I know I held a poll the other day because I was just kind of curious how many people were actually interested in watching it and giving it a try. Uh, I saw someone say that they were tired of all of the plugs, and I was like, well, that, that poll wasn't a plug, if that's what you're talking about specifically. That was me genuinely trying to find, or find out, like, who is interested and who is not. You know what I mean? And I get it. You know, I've, I've plugged it a lot in the last two weeks. But it's not like they're very long. And if you can't handle a quick 30-second plug, you know, patience, my friend, patience. Man, oh, man, they made this a tiny yard, didn't they? All right. Right back in this thing in here. Sure didn't make it easy for me, now did they? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Pushing all the wrong buttons, Jake. That's what it... No. This one right here. Jesus. Couldn't find the one I was looking for that whole time. I am not even close to being lined up to what I'm trying to hit here. If I can just turn this truck around, that would be great. Actually, no, it wouldn't. How do I want to put this thing into that slot there? This is a little awkward, boys and girls. A little awkward. They did not give me an easy drop on this one, did they? Right there. Don't hit that. We actually didn't hit it, by the way. I know all the time I'll be like, oh, almost hit that. And we actually did. We did not touch it that time, which is impressive. You just... There's not going to be any getting that thing turned all the way around. With how tight this little yard is here. I'm just going to squeeze it up next to this ramp and get myself turned around so I have hopefully a little bit more room to work with here. That's what we're going to have to do. Quite annoying of them, I will say. How would you make a, uh, a drop that's not wide enough? I mean, I get it. There's a road there, but man, poor planning on their part. Making this place such a miserable drop off. For truck drivers. Oh, I must have accidentally turned on my engine brake. Well, I was at it. That's good to know. 
I need to install the mirror FOV mod. So there are some mods we're missing right now. So you cannot see out of that thing. Like at all. Not exactly sure what I'm about to back into here. Because I cannot see out of that thing. Let's hop out and check. Um, ah, I see. Okay. It's about what I thought. We are turning it a little maybe almost too sharp here. Try this some more. Try and get that to just kind of fall right back into there, maybe. Uh, don't want to go too far to where I'm hitting that other trailer. Or something. No, uh, this is getting a little sketch. We gotta stop. We gotta make sure we're not gonna hit anything. Well, we're good so far. I just need this thing cranked all the way around. Let's try. I'm not going to be able to get it to... Uh, I can just tell already. I'm going to have to do a pull forward on this one. Yep. We're not too far off. That's not too bad. We just need to get it moved over a little bit. Get ourselves straightened out. There we go. Hey, look at that. Now, do I want to swing this? I think I want to swing it that way a little bit. Yeah. And then, Jane, right over here. Oh, come on, that's got to be so close. It's got to be close, man. All right. Let's try this again. You can't blame me. Like, this this drop was tight. And it's been a long time since I've played. Once you play for a while and you, you get the hang of driving trucks again, you can make these drops pretty fast. You can make them in, like, one go. Has been quite some time. But here we go. I can taste it now. Oh, come on. There it is. Nice. Unload it and uh, let's get our reward. Okay, 23 minutes, an hour 12 minutes. Well, oh, 23 miles, hour 12, 6.9 gallons. Looks good to me. Let's go get our next job, shall we? This is your headquarters. It's pretty basic garage. It may not be much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park there yet. Uh, so there are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you'll be able to move into the world freely and run your own business from here. Good luck. Sweet. Let's get another job. Now the strategy here is I'm just going to take whatever the quick, the most expensive, most paying job is. So we're going to sort this bad boy by, uh, the other way. By price. Look at that. We're taking dry fruits in a Kenworth day cab for $4,419. I'll take it. Let's do it. Portland to Olympia, I believe. Yep, Portland to Olympia dry fruits. What was it, 13 or 14 tons? Something like that. Let's do it. We're not tired yet, are we? You don't really get tired on these ones. Nope, because it, like, makes you sleep in between them or something. Anyways, Drive safe. Thanks, GPS lady. That doesn't sound like a GPS lady. And there's some weird ones, man. She has, like, an old granny voice, too. And then there's a dude that has, like, a raspy old dude voice. But, like, they're trying to pretend and put on those voices. It's something else. All right. Let's get that switched over to a screen that I want to... Oh, not as many options on that one. Yeah, fuel economy. Fine. It's fine by me. We're already loaded up. Running doubles. That's good. I didn't realize that when I took the job. It's fine. Lights on for safety. Let's roll. Put her in drive. And let's head on out of here. Man, this truck has how many miles on it? Hold on. We'll look at it here in a second. Gotta find my way out of here. Need to swing back over into this. Uh-huh. 
Good luck with that, Jake. Uh-huh. Sounds about right. Hey, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Keep it going this way. That'll do. That'll do. What's that? Uh, there's there's 6,000. 246,337 miles on this truck. Really not that bad. Pretty new truck. Pretty new truck. These things can go well over a million miles. For sure. They're, if they're maintained properly, that is. Wait on the gate to open up. Looks good. How are we on fuel? We're topped off. Awesome. Don't need to worry about that. And I'm certain with this load, they're going to give us a pulling in location because uh, we can't detach and back up one separately. So for that reason, I'm certain we'll get a pull in location. Keep left. Keep and left. Then turn left. And then turn left. Thank you. Thank you, lady. Turn left. Oh, I really? I was thinking about going to the right, into those X's, but if you say left, I guess I'm obligated to trust you now, aren't, aren't I? <laughs> it's pretty out here, though. I love this area, dude. All the green and the trees and the... And when you get into the mountains, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I can't wait for them to make even, even more of the map, though. Like, right. I want the whole U.S., and we'll get there someday. Turn someday right. we'll get there. They're making more and more progress now, though, from what it seems. Can I go? I'll let him go, and then I'll sneak behind him. Go! I get it. You're a semi and you're slow, man, but... Yeah, bro, I'm going. You better just chill. There we go. I was like, are we going to clear everything over here or not? Portland, Vancouver. We're headed up north, so I'm going to need over here. Just looking at the signs. Yep, the GPS says so, too. They do. I mean, every time they make a new uh, map, a new state, they do so good on them. They get more and more detailed. Things are just feel more real and more legit. I got to say, like... California was like one of the first ones and I hope that they go back and they kind of update it they refresh it that would be really cool and just make it to the detail quality that they've made some of these other states not to say that California is not a good one but it's definitely not I just don't feel like it's as detailed and I think they have added some cities here and there over time in California they're always working on developing and stuff and SES is a small company so they don't have a massive team you know to be able to get all these things out quickly and stuff. But I understand it takes them a while. It's just, it sucks when you love the game and uh, it takes ages to get new stuff. But what are you going to do, you know? Got to take it as you can get it, I guess. Right lane ends. That's good to know. Sorry, car. I'm going to sneak over here while I go 15 mile an hour. About 20. I'm probably like, wow, what a jerk. You could have waited. Yeah, I probably could have. It's okay. Everyone will live, though. So we're taking this one up to Washington, right? Uh, Olympia. We're taking this to Olympia from Portland. Hopefully, we'll be able to get down towards Utah here at some point. I believe it sounds like... No, this is, could be wrong. I believe this is all just rumors at this point. But I think Idaho is the next state that they are going to be working on re and releasing. And it'd be so cool if they've stepped up their timeline on those and they release that one in, like, four months, five months. That would be so, so cool. I'm certain it won't happen that soon, but that would be very, very cool. What? What? They released Washington. And you know what? They have stepped up their timeline on them, though. I will say, because they released Oregon and then Washington... And now we have Utah. They have been a little quicker about it, I think. Huh. Hadn't really noticed or, or thought about it, but I think they have been a little, little faster at getting all that done. Keep What's all right. this stuff saying? Seattle, use next exit. Oh, all right. That's me. I wasn't reading them, and I was like, I probably should read these. They're there for a reason, aren't they? <laughs> Slow down. I'm not entering that thing that fast. 35, Keep maybe. Right. Even then, 
That's sketch for our load. Slow down even more. Uh, uh, okay. Good thing I needed to go this way. That would have been a big boo boo, Jake. I wasn't really paying attention. Keep left. There we go. Now we can accelerate out of the turn. And we'll merge on to. What is this? Which one are we on now? No, that's what that one was. Which one are we on now? I'm trying to see. I'm trying to look at the signs. I need to pay more attention to the signs. I'd love to get to the point where I don't even need the GPS. I can just know where I'm going based off the signs. I used to do so many runs from California to New Mexico and back that I knew that route Keep left. Uh, perfectly. Like, I didn't need any uh, GPS. I could just run it myself. Um, I, uh, my, my roommate and I, we used to do a lot of trucking, you know, in multiplayer. And uh, we knew where all the rest stops were and everything. We knew everything about that route. We knew how long it would take. We can be like, yeah, we're probably at mile marker, blah, blah, blah at this point. <laughs> uh, it took that route way, way too much, but it was a highest pain thing for a while. So we just kept on doing it. We'd go from Northern Cali to South, uh, Eastern, um, New Mexico, which was the farthest route you could take at that time when we were playing a lot. And, uh, it just earned us so much money. We'd always do like the heavy hauls or whatever, right? So we'd be making like 100k per trip. It's totally worth it. Totally worth it. Also, one thing I want to do, and I've never, I've always failed at this because I've always accidentally sold off my truck. I want to keep the first truck we buy forever. I want to never sell it. I want to see how many miles we can get that thing to. I got my one when I was trucking with AJ a lot and that route I was talking to you about. I got that thing up to like, I don't know, 80,000 miles, which is a pretty impressive little bit for not as, you know, we weren't trucking for very long, maybe a week, um, or maybe a little more in a week. I don't know. Not every night either though. But anyways, uh, got that thing up to, I think 80,000 miles and I, I sold it on accident. I felt so dumb. I was like, no, I wanted to keep that. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I always say these things like, oh, I'd love to do this, and then I never do. So, we're trying to do it here, now, with ATS. Hopefully, this is a series that we'll be able to do and everyone will be able to enjoy. I like it because I just get to sit down, relax, I get to talk. Uh, we can kind of give you updates on, on everything. Man, do you see them trailers? I'm letting this thing slow down on that turn, because that was sketchy. We started to tip a wee bit. Obey speed limit. What's the speed limit? 60? Gotcha. We'll do 55. How's that sound? Um, but I get to give you guys updates on the channel. We can just kind of talk about stuff. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, it's almost like a little podcast that doesn't really have a plan. Essentially is what this ends up being. Um, I just kind of ramble on different topics that I want to talk about for, you know, anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes. And, uh, and that's it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the American Truck Sim videos. Now it's been a long, long while since uh, these were uploaded on the channel. There's not a whole lot of them, but I really hope that this, uh, I really hope that more and more people give this stuff uh, an opportunity or try. And uh, I know there's some very dedicated fans to ATS and love to watch the uh, American Truck Sim series. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and make them. I'm going to try and vary my content more than I am now um just so things don't get stale just so things don't get repetitive on whatever map or series or game you know what i mean i'm trying i'm gonna try and just provide variation you dinguses jesus christ i could slaughter all of you with my truck i swear you're all idiots i want all of you fired i want all of your licenses taken away i hate all of you so I gotta, I gotta say, I was slowing down semi. They don't slow down fast. I also have to say, I wanted to get into that left lane, but Dingus hit the brakes while he had an open lane on the left side, slammed on the brakes on the left side, and blocked me into the right lane. And I was like, well, I have nowhere to go here now. Thanks, car. I appreciate you. Ugh. At least no one got hurt. At least there, were no, there was no accident. 
Thank God there was no car trying to merge at that time because I didn't even have time to look. I was like, we're just taking that gap. That's all I can do. Take the gap. Try to not kill everyone. That was my goal. And it worked. So, hey, all right, not too bad. We still haven't had an accident yet, knock on wood. We've had a close accident. Very scary one moment, but we're still alive. Everyone's alive. Everyone's good. We're fine. No tickets yet, too. Oh, that was a... The dingus was a cop. What a kind person. Kind person. That's what I was going to say. What a kind person that cop is. <laughs> Uh, I need a drink after all of that. <sighs> not an alcoholic drink either. I'm drinking Mountain Dew. Relax. Not drinking and driving. Keep right and then exit right. Oh. We're taking this exit. How about that? Will do, boss man. Exit or right. Lady, I guess. Boss lady. Slow down. We're going to take a left turn here. I hope to be recording on 5M tonight. Um, so maybe that'll be a video to come out on Monday or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Keep an eye out for it, though. Got to make a new intro for it. So I'm going to need... Uh, I'm going to need to get Austin in sometime to help me with that. Because I'm sure he wants one as well. Excited to see how that thing turns out, too. Is that a Peterbilt rolling up next to us? Nope, Kenworth. Bad call, Jake. That was not a Peterbilt. That was a Kenworth. What a idiot. <laughs> oh, we were on the five, by the way. Finally. After all of this time, I find out we were on the five. That is a red light, too. Oh, I should have got over. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll get over after the light. It'll all work. There's a lot of cops out here. Now, there's a mod that um, lowers the amount of cops on the road, which is uh, another thing that I need to install. I don't have any mods running on this at the moment. I want to just play it completely stock. But that's what we're doing. It's looking beautiful, though. I mean, even the stock game, you get some different mods in, and you can make it look even better. Some of them can cause some issues, though, so you got to be careful about it with updates and everything. You gotta make sure uh, things are in the right priority list order and all kinds of stuff. I haven't bro I haven't browsed for mods in a very long time. I don't know how many there are or whatnot. So I know you don't have to indicate entering a roundabout. You indicate exiting a roundabout. However, uh, it's just a habit of mine. I'm an American. It's just a habit of mine. That's all. Oh, you've discovered a recruitment agency. If only I had a few trucks for someone to drive. Oh, wait a minute. Am Keep I going to discover a truck dealership? Right. Nope, just a service place. That's upsetting. Right. Alright, we're pulling into Walbert. Uh, I'd like to get over into that lane, buddy, so if you could pass me. There you go. I was like, I want to swing over here so I can make this turn. This is where it ends. Jeez, what is with the weirdest... What is it with the very strange and weird and creepy voices for this thing? Like, could we have not just gone with legit sounding uh, GPS guides or, or what? Did we have to make them weird? Did we think it was funny? I don't understand your, your incentive behind this SCS. Why? <laughs> I just don't get it. I feel like they've been they were trying to record so many different phrases and they got tired and then they started doing weird voices and they thought it was hilarious and like yeah put it in the game that's hilarious when in reality it was just their delusion from doing it for so long that made them think it was funny there we go finally we got our drop there all right well let's drop that one off as well and that's going to do it for this one. Let's check our stats. 120 miles, 3 hours, 47 minutes, 31 gallons. We made $4,419. Looking good so far. Making money, earning stuff. Oh, we can unlock a skill point. What do we want? Hazardous, long, high value, fragile, just in time, or fuel economy. I think we will want high value. I think 
th that'll unlock some high value stuff for us. So I think that's what we're going to roll with for now. There you have it. That is our uh, first couple runs in the new, uh, whatever you call it, the new company we're trying to start up in ATS. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more, let me know by hitting that like button. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Third time generation. Little old school salvation. Blazing frills across this nation. See the shine to see. We're the last, we're the last, we're the last of the cowboys.